that's nice that's kind of a good news so yeah guys if you are ready to shift to senzen and if you are capable enough or you if you uh, you fulfill all the requirements then you are welcome to lcsc maybe yeah welcome <laughs> Hello everyone now welcome to another episode of Talking Tech now in this Talking Tech series i used to invite some tech startups and companies most related to the field of electronics iot automation and stuff like that i invite them and ask them about their product their journey their business strategy and everything regarding their company and their products so for this episode we have a very very special guest straight from china so i welcome miss crystal from team lcs thank you so much crystal for being here thank you sachin i hope and i'm sure my audience will glad to see you in this episode so for those who don't know about lcs i'm sure there are very few don't know about lcs let me give you a brief so lcs is china's leading electronic component distributor and if i talk about the figures of 2018 then they have more than 9 lakh customers more than 3800 orders per day and they had a revenue of 150 million dollars in 2018 so that were huge numbers so i'll start this interview with crystal so crystal my first question goes like tell us the journey about the company journey of lcsc yeah sure i was as i found it in 2011 after 8 yeah. years driving and accumulation of the experience lcsc become far east online shopping for electronic components good good okay and uh, in 2017 LCS acquired EasyEDA. Oh. EasyEDA is an easier and powerful PCB, yeah, design. PCB designing software. Yeah, design yeah. software. And in 2018, we make a deeper cooperation with our partner, Ganesha Supply Chain. Uh-huh. Yeah, they invest us 1.5 million funding. Oh, 1.5 million yeah. dollars funding you got. Yeah, yeah, and now. LCS have 900,000 users. About uh, we processing 3,800 orders per day. Per day, yeah. yeah, that is a big number, I must say. <laughs> okay, so this was the start of this company. So moving ahead with the next question, yeah. uh, as you said, LCS started back in 2011, and uh, there must be many competitors at that time. Okay, yeah. so how LCS managed to compete with that industry at very starting phase? Okay, so yeah. How- Uh, in 2011, there were indeed a lot of companies yeah. uh, for electronic components distributor. Yeah. And the beginning of studying, we focus on selling po- components to small and middle-sized companies. Okay. Uh, with small batches and the transparent price. Right. Yeah. Right. So the other main point which I came to know that you focused initially on that. Uh, you know smaller batches of smaller orders that yes, comes from sure. makers and engineers and labs yeah. so yeah so that was something different from the other companies which i heard okay so they mean they focus is on big companies but you rather focusing on big companies started focusing on labs and yeah. students yeah that is nice okay mm-hmm. so next question comes is uh, who are the major consumers or make we can say customers of lcsc talking about this whole world Who are your major customers? Uh, yeah, our main customers like the makers, EMS companies, yeah, yeah. labs, factories, and the students. Our major group customers are from Asia, Europe, and uh, North America. Okay, yeah. so yeah, these are the main markets. Okay. Yeah, main markets. Okay, and uh, talking about India, then mm-hmm. how is India as an LCSC consumer? Uh, we think uh, uh, India is a very potential market, and it's our top five market now. Is it? Yeah. So we think India is an emerging market for us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would was surprised to know, you know, listen that India is in top fifth list of your customers. Yeah. Well, it is great. So next question uh, mm-hmm. for you, Crystal is. Mm-hmm. What unique benefits do you offer to students and makers? And I think one of the benefit is that you allow a smaller, mm-hmm. you know, a yeah. number of uh, component orders. So that's one of the benefit. What other mm-hmm. benefits you offer to students and makers? Uh, we also have easy EDA provide the PCB design, yeah. which is free. 
Yeah, it's yeah. it's amazing. It's easy to use as well. Uh, yes, easy to do yeah. as well as. Okay. And uh, it's matched with our components. You can okay. find the components. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I have used that, and it, it found I found it very easy because all the LC components are listed in Easy EDU. Yes, yeah. sure. So that is really beneficial thing mm-hmm. for students. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, next question comes mm-hmm. is now it's a very crucial question we can say. So it's like how much U.S. China trade war affected or maybe is affecting your business right now? Yeah, very much. But we still have some Facebook customers still. Uh, who still keeping orders from us? We are very grateful for them, okay. but uh, we hope the U.S. China trade war will yeah, end we, soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, we all hope so that this war should come to an end soon. Yeah, let's mm-hmm. hope for the best. <laughs> so yeah, so we go to the next question, which is mm-hmm. uh, your thoughts on this electronic component industry and its future. Like, how is the future of this market? How do you see it? We think it will have a bright future. We are living in a electronics age, uh-huh. and the technology is growing fast. We believe electronic components will attribute a lot of advancement in this technology field. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have the every reason to think the electronic components is promising. Yeah, exactly. Electronic component is the base of any technology or maybe any electronic device. So, yeah, you think it has a very bright future ahead. Yeah, the future ahead. Yeah. Okay. So great. Uh, moving on to the next question, uh, which is which comes from the Indian students community, who says, "How can an Indian student pursue career with your company? So, how Indian student can you know can work with LCSC?" We found Indian students have the great potential uh-huh. uh, if they uh, meet our requirements we are willing to recruit them Is if it? they are ready to come to Shenzhen. oh that's nice that's kind of a good news so yeah guys if you are ready to shift to Shenzhen and if you are capable enough or you if you uh, you fulfill all the requirements then you are welcome to LCSC maybe yeah welcome <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, these were some of the questions for Crystal. So we'll take a break here, and after the break, I will ask all the questions from my subscribers. So stay tuned for the video, and let's take a break here. back after the break so before the break we discuss some of the questions related to that company with uh, crystal and right now we have miss elma who is also employee of lcsc and with elma i will discuss some of the questions from my subscribers so elma we have yeah. a lot of subscribers and we have a lot of questions as well okay. <laughs> so i'll ask one by one questions to you okay. so first question goes like what was the thought at the beginning of starting this business of electronic component distributor so what was the thought let me think about it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, the first point we think is uh, we want to make the process easier for the engineers to order from our website, and so they can order small batches from our yeah, website. And and that's a plus point. Yeah, and the second point is that uh, we want to uh, bridge the gap between the manufacturers and the customers. So to shorten the time. And the third, I think it is uh, because we want to maximize the benefit for the customers. We will do this uh, with the price transparency. Okay. So yeah, yeah these were the thoughts before the starting this business. So yeah. 
they were great thoughts must say the second question from my subscriber is why haven't you made any app or do you have any plan for making apps for android ios maybe so do you have any plans well we already have the response web so we don't need uh, any app right now is it yeah <laughs> so yeah so they yeah. think they have a very great website so they don't need any app so yeah, yeah that's nice answer next question is what if any delivered product is found faulty okay and what we can do for that if any of the product ordered from lcsc if it found faulty if it is not working what a customer can do oh well if that happens we have to suggest you to send it back to us and we will resend to you or refund to you but still one question comes in my mind as yeah. a customer yeah. that if the product is found faulty okay so i need to send it back to you so who will be responsible for the charges of all this all the expenses that a customer need to send the uh, product to you okay so who will handle the charges for that well in the case uh, we as the lc have to cover all the expenses okay so if product found faulty yeah. lcsc will be responsible for all the expenses yeah, right Uh, that was great uh, looking at the customer side it's really great <laughs> uh, yeah so ma the next question comes is uh, what's the business strategy for current competitive market as you also must be knowing the market is very competitive nowadays so yeah. what's your business strategy well our strategy is focused on the customers benefits uh-huh and uh, we have everything simple and easy to use in one platform if you need pcb design you can go to our it's eda Token. If any PCB is needed, uh, well, you can go to our JLC PCB. Mm-hmm. When it comes to the components, well, all makers and individuals need that, right? right. Uh, you can go to our LCS Token. We offer small batches for all individuals and makers. So JLC PCB, EZD, and LCLC, all three are of same group. Yeah. Okay. So you have everything what then makers need, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a plus point for your side. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So next question comes is uh, will LCSC start any branch or provide any dealership of its company in India? So me and you have any plan for starting anything in India? Well, um we will in the future. Is it? Yeah. Okay. After all Uh, Indian is the emerging market for the electronic components. Is it that? It is. It is. It yeah. is. Okay. So you don't have plans right now, but maybe in future. Yeah, in future. That's cool. Moving ahead, we have next question, uh, which is, how are you able to manage such a big company with only three hundred four hundred employees? Yeah, this was the question which came in my mind as well. Okay. Yeah. Do you have robots working in the warehouse or what? Because on your website it says three hundred ten employees and We have more than three thousand eight hundred plus orders. So how do you manage this? Do you think we have robots? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, is in actually we have many departments, and all our departments work very well. Okay. That's the very important factor. And yeah. the second point is that we have large warehouses. Also, we have some. Good robot like the semi-automatic systems. Semi-automatic yeah. systems. Yeah, yeah, system. yeah. It okay. helps so we can ship the orders ready for four hours, ready for shipping. Four hours and ready to ship. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's cool. cool so you right? have at school, mm-hmm. obviously, the four hours and your order will be ready to ship. That's amazing. So, so you have half a robotic and half manual kind of system in your warehouse, maybe, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, uh, next question is. Do you also arrange and supply the components which is not at all in your inventory? Maybe I'm searching for the components, and if it is not in your inventory, what can I do, or what you can do for us? Oh well, our department have their own plan to restock. But if you you want to find something that is not in our stock, yeah. you can send your model number to us to the our customer service team. We will forward this to our purchase department, and they will search for you. Okay, yeah. so your purchase team will try to arrange that component if yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah, and then come back to you. Yeah. But um, maybe it's it's good for you to ask if in large large quantities, 
you know, we have many individuals and makers. Right. If everyone comes for small batches, oh, is oh, yeah. yeah, that's a valid point. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, valid yeah, point. yeah, yeah. That's I can totally understand. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Next question is, uh, how did you manage to grow at such a fast pace? It's like started back in 2011, and if you look at the figures of 2018, then you crossed 150 million dollars. Like, how you had such a graph fast growth pace? The first thing I think is because it's a good age for the component component industry. Uh, that's very important. And the second point is that we focus on innovation. We have very good ERP to handle the orders. We also have the um, improving semi-automatic systems. Yeah, you told before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the last thing is that is because we have really good customer service. You have ordered from us before, right? Yeah, yeah, I have ordered. I have experienced LCSC yeah. a couple of times for my projects, and most of my projects recently, yeah. which I made, are with the help of LCSC uh -huh. only. And uh, yeah, they, I was surprised with the delivery. I just got the order within three days, like from China to India. I just got in three days. Fast. Yeah, it, it is fast. It is really fast. So yeah. I was amazed with that. Okay, yeah. so. Great, and the last question from my subscriber comes is, what are the future plans regarding the growth of the company? Like, uh, how are your plans for making LCC way more bigger? We are going to increase more uh, in the quality brands and, uh, okay. and stocks. Currently, we have about 900 brands and about 200,000 SKU. Okay. And uh, we want to... Uh, made large and bring more so we can deliver more to our customers um, and the second point is we have large warehouses now it's about 10 10,000 square meters we, we want to make it six times large 60,000 square meters yeah and make. yeah and the last point is our uh, we, we are going to have more branches all around the world. Maybe we will have one in India in the oh, future. Maybe soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you have plans of making branches, you have plans for increasing the warehouse six times and uh, yeah. increasing the inventory as well. So these are some of your future <laughs> plans. So yeah. Emma, these were the questions from my subscribers. Now the last segment of my uh, this Talking Tech series comes is, uh, as all the watching people are students, they are maybe engineers, all the students basically, okay? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. they must have be having some plans of, you know, making their own company or making their own startup, anything, okay? So what will be your suggestion if I talk about the market of electronic component distributor? What's, what's the market or what suggestion you would like to give to the person who wants to start this kind of business? So what's your suggestion? It's an interesting question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think... The first thing is that you need to have more experience, much experience. Maybe you no. need to work several years or 10 years, maybe. And you have to have reliable and stable manufacturers and customers. Okay. That's okay. a very important point. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. And um, also, I think this point is, uh, is founded in all good components. It is the good customer service. Yeah, that's very important yeah. in any yeah, business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it means we have to focus on the customers. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, these were the suggestions from Emma for starting your own electronic component distribution company, maybe. So thank you so much, Emma, for being in the yeah. Talking Tech episode. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, and and yeah, I yeah. hope our subscribers got to know a lot about electronics <laughs> market, a lot about so. LCSC. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, ending this video here. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to see more such Talking Tech episodes. And other than Talking Tech series, I also used to make a variety of videos in this magical field of electronics. So just wait for my next one, till then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS. <laughs>